All right, it's time for our maiden voyage, girls. Let's try this out. Come on, Sadie. Get up in there, Harley. Come on. I always gotta help Harley. All right. Sadie likes to run back and forth between windows and all right. We're going to a favorite spot. Oh, the great Bronco shut off thing. I'm not going to shut the door because it'll honk. Major Tickville. This high grass like this. I don't know if you've ever been out walking through this kind of stuff, but you'll have a bazillion ticks on you and little video things too. The farmer hasn't come. Farmer hasn't come through and cut this yet, so. We have to endure it. I normally park up here, but I think I'm going to Get out of the thick grass a little bit.
girls are like, where are you going, Daddy? <laughs> Park right up here. Grass is not as high here. Here we go, girls. because Harley will point at just about anything, but Sadie won't back her, <laughs> but see Harley. What did you, girl? Sadie just runs, runs by her. In fact, there it is, there goes the rabbit. <laughs> Good girl. You missed it, Sadie. Come on, Sadie. Maybe some young ones in there. Let's go, Harley. Come here, girl. Harley. Come here. Come on. Rabbit's gone. Come on, good, come here, come here, come here. Good girl, that's a good girl. If I were to bring my shotgun with me, I could have a rabbit just about every time we go. That one ran with them 10 feet of me. But what I was saying, if they would have been Sadie pointing, Harley would have, if she sees Sadie pointing, she will stop wherever she's at and point. But Sadie doesn't return the favor. Sadie will just bust on through. It's funny watching the girls work. We used to hunt her. I didn't hunt with them, but my dad and brothers and stuff would, would, uh, Quail, my dad and brothers and stuff would quail hunt a lot. So we had different types of dogs and things, so it was, it was fun, but I don't know. There got to be a shortage of quail for a while, and then the farmers now, they take down all the fence lines and things, and that's where the birds would go. They would live in those fence lines, and we'd walk the edge of the field cornfields and uh, of course if you don't know the hunting season is in the late fall early winter so there's no crops out so it's all kind of cool and cold and uh, frozen sometimes but those quail get the bunch up and in those uh, rows but they cut all them out and 
I haven't quail hunted in forever. I, when I see them now, it's usually when I, back when I used to go deer hunting in the middle of the woods, they'd be out there, so. Uh, don't do that anymore, but I still love the dogs. They're, they, I think they're the best minding dogs, the smartest dogs. I can teach them anything. And when I whistle, they'll come running. <laughs> Go. This way. And they're great. They're great for to be house. I just leave them in the house and they have a dog door. They can go out the door during the day. I've got a big fence thin area that they can get out. And, but they can come in and whenever they want. Now they get dirty, wet, or muddy, or something. Mama makes me clean them up before they come in, but they understand me. I mean, I don't. They can tell when I get start to get angry or my mood changes and stuff. So the dogs get to know you real well whenever you have them close to you inside, and and they'll point and do everything. Uh, you know, it used to be back in the days, early days, I always heard if you wanted to have a good bird dog or uh, oh, there's several things I could tell you, but if you, but I'll stick to the point. If you want a good bird dog, it can't be a family dog. Well, that's, I found out to be horse crap. I've had, before these two, I had another uh, setter that, I go out and it would point, point everything. I mean, be no problems. They understand you. I could, they could be pointed. And I just, all I got to do is say a whoa or hold it or something like that, and they won't move. And but you know, I guess people have different opinions, but that's just what I thought from what people had told me. And but I found that to be not true. Uh, Another thing is, uh, so that was one myth that I busted. And I forgot what I was going to tell you on the other thing. <laughs> I'll think of it here in a minute. But we're out just walking the fields. You can see it's fresh corn coming up. And this corn, like it is here, it doesn't hurt. They even step on it, the dogs to run over it because you can push it down, it'll pop back up. So it's not too bad. I don't mind walking out here now, but another month, I doubt if we'll be even be able to get in here. It'll be so high, so. enjoying this video i'm trying to get some video some action video of getting out because i know a lot of people can't get out and uh they would enjoy seeing this so hopefully i'm touching the hearts of a few that you know may be stuck inside and can't get out and used to do this or something and um hopefully it helps you also out there if you would please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel I mean, it helps. I don't understand the YouTube logarithms and all that, but it helps me. I don't make any money. Uh, supposedly, at one point, your channel can get monetized, which means you make a little bit off the commercials and stuff they put on here. But I'm told it's never enough to make a living off of or anything. So, but. I can't get there until I get so many subscribers and people like and watch my videos and stuff. So the more you like and share and all that, it'd be great. I would appreciate it.
This is where Harley will usually flop down in the mud like this. When she was standing there, that wasn't her full point, so I knew something. She wasn't sure something was there. Probably a rabbit. We've only gotten into, see, they're five years old now. We've only got in, gotten into like two, three cubbies of quail. During that whole time. Mostly it's rabbits. Problem I have, one of the problems is I worry about here's one of the reasons I bring a gun with me is a handgun. Is I've come around the corner before and Harley especially, sometimes Sadie, will be chasing a coyote across the field. At one time I did that come around the corner and there was a coyote running out not real fast and Harley was right behind it and well then another coyote was running coming in behind Harley at a distance so I don't know if they were baiting her up to eat her later or what but that's some of the dangers of this time of year is you can't see in the woods very good but at any time dealing with coyotes I saw one out couple of weeks ago we were out here and some of these are not true coyotes they're coy, coy dogs is what we call them they're it's where a regular dog has got inbred into the coyote uh, family so but there's just some things you got to be aware of this time of year too, snakes. We don't have a lot of poisonous snakes, but the copperheads and there are a few. <clears throat> I can kind of tell when they're uh, pointing a snake or something. It's just a little bit different point. They're a little like a more curious look in their eyes. So I'd call them off every time and they'll usually come running back to me. If, if that's the case but if they're on, look here they're laying in the mud up here i'm gonna send this to mama she's gonna whoop some butt it's a nice day today it's been hot today is in the mid 60s got a breeze so it's kind of cool one of the 
Well, I try to wear long sleeves out here all the time because of the ticks and stuff. I can spray down real good, but I kind of bring them out. I try to once every weekend or twice, twice during the winter and stuff, but um, just so they can get some exercise. Let me fix this mic. Got to get a better system going here for you guys. I'm going to get me a Canu camera or something. I'm just filming with phones now. Phone, I've got a GoPro too. But I try to get them out. Usually Saturday and Sunday is what I do. Saturday and Sunday morning. We go to church, so Sunday before church. <clears throat> Use it's cool then and in the early mornings. This is mid 1.30 now. I got off work a little early today. I've been gone. I do RV hauling on the side, so I was gone this weekend. So I get out and get them out while it was a cool afternoon. I love it out here. Love being outdoors. You can have the TV. I love being outdoors. I mean, you can have the TV if you want it. You can have books. Now, I do read a lot of books and listen to a lot of books as I'm driving. And mostly they're books on how to better myself. They're not really fairy tale books and stuff like that. But leave me out here. You guys can have the indoor stuff. Oak tree. I believe that's a red oak. I always look at stuff like this and just wonder who, what, when, what they were doing.
And I just realized I did a, a home video here and wasn't in HD mode. One of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna figure this videoing out. Seems like there's so much to think about, it's crazy.